So today, guys, I'm excited because we finally got the new exotic AR, plus we got the new exotic holster, plus we unlocked the full seasons and we got a build for you guys because when you pair these all together, you get some pretty cool combinations and just look at this. Look at all the shock we're getting. Spread and shock. This thing is just so much fun, um, especially if you're using it in PvE. Overall, this is a great PvE build and I think a lot of you guys 100% enjoy this when you guys just see how we're spreading that shock right and then let's take a look at this I'm just waiting to get it back don't have it just yet oh take a look at that it's so amazing isn't it so that's actually really cool about this build is that you can just shock these guys and just look at the bonus armor I'm keeping up right ton of armor still doing enough damage come over here boom shock him it only shocked one right there. It should have shocked all of them, but A, it might have been on cooldown. And then let's just go here. Got these guys. Just keep shooting them. And then we already have the shock ammo. So even though we didn't get the shock or punch to go off, we definitely still have shock ammo in this bad boy. And we're having fun. So what we're going to do here, guys, is I will be showing you guys how I have this bad boy set up. And I think a lot of you guys, if you like feeling invincible, this build is going to do that for you. It just got even better with this season because we we're able to tweak some pieces and still make it one of the strongest builds in the game. And what you're going to see here is you are going to see me get in a situation where I shouldn't even be able to survive. But just look how the bonus armor never goes away. Once I get in here, right, I literally go in there and all I have is bonus armor. Look, the shock, right? I'm able to shock all of them. And then now I got the shock bullets. And this is where this build gets so good, right? Look how I'm able to keep bonus armor up and not have to, sh my, my shield is staying up. I am surviving this. I should be dead here. No armor. This is just all bonus armor. That one, being able to melee them, causing that shock helps, right? And then look, then I get the shock bullets. That's why this is so cool, right? Like the fact that I was able to survive this moment here with no armor, just all bonus armor, shows how the build can work even in those crucial situations. But let's get into the build so you can see how I have it set up. So you'll notice right off the bat, we are running the survivor specialization. This is gonna give us more protection from elites on this build. And that's what this build is somewhat built around because we have damage, we have the survivability from those elite enemies. And with the shield, we're able to stay up. And you guys saw in the gameplay, this build is all built around two exotics and a shield because as they work together, they give you bonuses. And we'll talk about that in a second. Now for the weapon, we are running the St. Elmo's engine. If you notice on this build, it's about 85,000 total damage, 850 RPM with 70 in the magazine. We have assault rifle, health damage, and then we have damage to targets out of cover. So we have 22 percent extra weapon damage on this build because we have it at 22 expertise but ideally with this build you don't have to really worry about too much about that if you get it at 10 percent expertise you'll be good there if you if you have it less you'll still be fine because this build is about surviving and you'll still be able to put out enough damage because they just can't hurt you now if you notice we have the talent on the new exotic right it's shooting an enemy with this weapon will give one stack at 100 stacks the next magazine you fill with shock ammo so that's 70 rounds what really makes this weapon special to me is the mods themselves because we have 20% crit damage scope, 30 rounds in the magazine, so we have 70 total. We have 20% weapon handling and then 20% crit chance. This is amazing. This is probably some of the best mods that you'll see on any weapon in the game. So even if we were able, ever, say if we ever lost the talent itself, I would still probably use this because of these mods. We have the mop as our secondary to give us that survivability because remember, it comes with that 10% armor on kill, has shotgun damage, damage to armor, and then I rolled preservation on here. So if I kill an enemy, I get 10% armor over five seconds. If I get a headshot kill, I get 20% armor over five seconds so that's actually pretty good so saint elmo's the mop the combo i'm going with for the mask we are using the chill out mask if you don't have this you can run a regular Gilligar mask you're just going to have 12 percent less protection from elites and maybe a little bit more crit chance so we have five percent total armor on here we have 170,000 armor and then look we have crit damage and then we have two mod slot because of the chill out mask 
Now, if you don't have the chill out mask, just run a regular Gillo mask and you only have one mod slot. So you'll put protection from elites and then for the other attribute, you can run crit chance. So that's that's a difference you could do on this build. But yeah, the protection from elites is definitely key on this build and why you're able to survive in harder difficulties and against those gold and elite enemies. For the chest, we run a Fenris chest. We have 10% armor um, assault rifle damage. So that helps with this build, right? That's where we're getting some of our damage. We have 15% weapon damage. We have crit chance, crit damage, and then we have 12% protection from elites. And then take a look at this. While you have bonus armor, you gain one stack for each second up to a max of seven. Each stack increases weapon damage by 5% to enemies within 10 meters. Now, all stacks are lost when you have no bonus armor. So again, we're gonna gain up to 35% extra weapon damage on the build just because of this talent. And since we are running that protection from elites and we do have a shield, you know how that's gonna work, right? We're, we're just gonna be kind of invincible for, for those split seconds. So that way we, we can still hit hard and be able to have 1.8 million armor on the build. So we're running the new host of the shocker punch. I don't even have this optimized, so I will get it. I just wanted to put it on for you guys. We definitely need to get it proficient too, but take a look at this. While shocker punch is equipped, the stun received by an agent from a shot, from um, shock status effect will be reduced by 50%. So if you have this equipped, you're gonna receive, um, the, the shock status you receive is gonna be reduced by 50%, which isn't bad. But look at this, using a shield will give 100% melee damage. Using the St. Elmo's engine, which is that assault rifle, with the holster will give you 100% extra melee damage, so that's 200% melee damage. The next melee attack to apply is going to give a shock to the target, which is cool. But like, look at this, using all three items, so if you're using the shield, you're using the shocker punch, and you're using the St. Elmo's engine, shock from melee attack will have a five meter radius starting from the first target so that's pretty cool so if you hit one target it can cause a little chain effect and i like it there is a 15 second cooldown on that but overall it works amazing especially on this build so we have survivability with the protection from elites the shocker punch is going to cause that shocker when we hit them with the shield and then obviously we're going to be getting shock ammo on our assault rifle so a lot of shot going around holding those enemies in place which is actually pretty cool for our knee pads we're running the improvised knee pads now you need to craft these ones you can craft them at the recalibration station uh, sorry at the crafting station we have armor on here crit chance crit damage and then 12 percent protection from elites I went with the improvised because you remember the improvised is the only one that's going to allow you to add a mod slot on the knee pads. So protection from leaks is what we're going with. For the gloves, we are running the Walker and Harris. We actually run a two piece. We have 5% weapon damage and then 5% damage to armor. So the weapon damage is going to help on the build. And then obviously the, the damage to armor is multiplicative. So we have 170,000 armor on here, crit chance, crit damage. So that's just something for you guys to keep in mind when you're paying attention to this versus running something like the contractor gloves. I able to get more crit chance crit damage on this versus having that one slot so i am running a two-piece so it works hand in hand and obviously if i'm running a two-piece walker and harris it's the backpack so we have armor crit chance crit damage and then we have that 13 percent protection from at least the only one i've ever seen uh, drop for me so i've been looking for them i have those 12 percent but 13 percent man it's a rare one for me at least and then i have protect um perfect adrenaline rush whenever you're within 10 meters of an enemy you gain 23 percent bonus armor for five seconds now remember, this is gonna be 69% bonus armor for five seconds. If I have three enemies at 1.8 million, a lot of armor I'm getting back. Now this stacks up to three times as you see, cooldown is five seconds. So very good. Um, you should be able to keep this up almost the whole time. And that's what I honestly love about this build. Now I am running the Crusader shield and you guys might've noticed because that's the only one that's gonna allow us to use our assault rifle. Uh, and run the survivalist, right? So if we were running the firewall, we could run the striker shield, but obviously the crusader shield is the only one that's gonna allow you to run that. And then for the second skill, it's really up to you. I'm currently running cool skills, so I can only use one skill or the other skill is gonna go on cooldown. So I'm not even using my other one, but you could, if you weren't running all the directives, put whatever you want there, it doesn't really matter. Now we go over here, you'll see we have 54% crit chance, 125% crit damage, 75% headshot damage. 5% armor damage, 21% health damage, plus 10% damage targets out of cover on the build. We go down to our defense. 
almost 1.8 million you see it but look at this 71 percent protection from elites so that's why when we fight those elite enemies they're barely they're tickling us right and when we have the perfect adrenaline rush we're getting that bonus armor they're barely getting through the bonus armor we can keep it up intimidates proc it works hand in hand and yeah this is the build definitely one of my favorites and um one of my new favorites so we're using two new exotics plus the shield and they work great together all right guys we're gonna wrap it up here hey appreciate the support appreciate the love i'll see you guys in the next one hey nothing but skills out take it easy everybody